submitted to you by asking questions about the facts, which you must decide from the evidence you have heard in this trial. You are the sole judges of the credibility of the witnesses and the weight to be given their testimony, but in matters of law you must be governed by the instructions in this charge. In discharging your responsibility on this jury, you will observe all the instructions which have previously been given you. I shall now give you additional instructions which you should carefully and strictly follow during your deliberations. One, do not let bias, prejudice, or sympathy play any part in your deliberations. Two, in arriving at your answers, consider only the evidence introduced here under oath, and such exhibits, if any, as have been introduced for your consideration under the rulings of the court, that is, what you have seen and heard in this courtroom, together with the law, as given you by the court. In your deliberations, you will not consider or discuss anything that is not represented by the evidence in this case. Three, since every answer that is required by the charge is important, no juror should state or consider that any required answer is not important. Four, you must not decide who you think should win and then try to answer the questions accordingly. Simply answer the question and do not discuss nor concern yourselves with the effect of your answers. Five, you will not decide the answer to a question by lot or by drawing straws or by any other method or chance. Do not return a quotient verdict. A quotient verdict means that the jurors agree to abide by the result to be reached by adding together each juror's figures and dividing by the number of jurors to get an average. Do not do any trading on your answers. That is, one juror should not agree to answer a certain question one way or the other if he will agree to answer another question another way.